Mark 4:35 and on. And it says, that day when evening came, he said to his disciples, let us go over to the other side. Leaving the crowd behind, they took him along just as he was in the boat. There was also other boats with him. A furious squall came up and the waves broke over the boat so that it nearly swamped. Jesus was in the stern sleeping on a cushion. The disciples woke him and said, teacher, don't you care if we drown? He got up, re rebuked the wind, and said to the waves, Quiet, be still. Then the wind died down, and it was completely calm. And he said to his disciples, Why are you so afraid? Do you still have no faith? They were terrified and asked each other, Who is this? Even the winds and the waves obey him. That day when evening came, he said to his, to his disciples, Let us go over to the other side. I want to let you know that that statement is God's promise. You will get to the other side. My first thought I want to share to you is rest in the fact God has an other side for you. When you are going through the storm, it's very easy to doubt God. When you're going through the storm, it's very easy in the midst. God has promised you something. But the moment you start hitting the turbulence, the moment you start hitting the, the, the thunder and the lightning and the storms begin to rage and you're looking at your situation, you begin to doubt God. So what I, so what I want to encourage you to do is when you're going through your storm, to not look at what you see. But to close your eyes and remember what God said. And I want to read one more story to you. It's from Acts 12. It says, It was about that time King Herod arrested some who belonged to the church, intending to, intending to persecute them. He had James, the brother of John, put to death with the sword. When he saw that it met with approval among the Jews, he proceeded to kill Peter also. So Peter's about to die. He just saw James die. And skipping a couple verses says, So Peter was kept in prison, but the church was earnestly praying to God for him. The night before Herod was to bring him to trial, Peter, I want to listen to this. Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, bound with two chains, and sentry stood guard at the entrance when Peter was in jail he didn't have Jesus around him he had Holy Spirit in him so I want to let you know to begin to go through your storms to be able to sleep in your storm to be able to be at peace at your storm you can't just have Jesus around you you can't just go to church for a check mark you can't just watch a uh, post a scripture on your Instagram just so people know that you're holy just for people to know that you're a Christian and you have a check mark on your list you went to Sunday you went to Wednesday we're all good to go no that's not a relationship what Jesus is saying that you have to begin to have a relationship with the Holy Spirit the same man that had Jesus around him began to doubt God but the man that had Holy Spirit within him was able to sleep in his storm the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds you can't begin to speak peace on your life. You can't begin to speak to the storm. You can't begin to say, tell the storm what to do. When the storm is inside you, when you have turmoil in you, you when you have uncertainty in you, when you have disbelief, when you have doubt in you, you can't begin to speak the promises of God because it's not in you. It's where you speak from that stops the storm. When you have disbelief, when you say, God, I honestly don't know if you're going to come through. I don't know if the promise that you gave me on dry ground is going to really get me to there. You can't begin to speak to it because you don't believe will God actually come through. But when you begin to come from a place that says, my God is able to do, and you begin to speak to the storm. You begin to speak to the very thing that is beginning to frighten you. You begin to speak to the very thing that is beginning to storm your life. You begin to speak from a place a promise you begin to speak from a place that God said there's another side you begin to it's where you speak from 
You have to begin to speak from your prayer life. You have to begin to speak from the time that you fasted. You have to begin to speak from the, from the Bible reading, from the promises, from what God has done. And you say, when, when the, all you see is storm, thunder, and tribulation, you close your eyes and you begin to grab from what God's done. Say, God, if you did it before, you could do it again. God, if you got me to this place, you can get me through this place. And the peace of God that which surpasses all understanding, you speak from that. That's why Jesus was able to sleep in the storm. That's why Peter was able to sleep in the jail cells because he had that peace within him. All hell can break loose, but if you have the peace of God in you, Satan can't do anything. Life is like going through a sea. You're going to have to steer through a lot of things. You're going to have to see through thunder, through lightning, through raging seas. But God doesn't want you just to abandon it. God wants you to begin to take that boat, your family, your finances. He wants to take that ship, your life, your career, and begin to go forward. To begin to believe for more. Believe that God did it before. He could do it again. In Jesus' name. Amen.